fried chicken, coleslaw, biscuit, red beans and rice. We got the blueberry lemonade. Is it lemonade or lemon? Uh, <laughs> cheesecake pies. More spicy fried chicken. Yummy delicious. What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are having Popeyes. We were supposed to have been trying the shrimp roll, the new shrimp roll, you know, the one that's on the website, but not available at all Popeyes. Like, Houston doesn't have them. I don't know who exactly, like, where, you know, they have them, but um, from the Popeyes, from, from Houston, they said that it's coming soon. I'm like, what? I thought, why is it on the website then? Anyway, that was kind of irritating because I thought we was going to be trying something new today. So we just had to get um, some regular Popeyes, y'all. We got um, spicy fried chicken, red beans and rice. We got their new pies, their blueberry lemon cheesecake pies. Mm. And I have a side of coleslaw. I just have to have coleslaw. We have jalapenos and some black and ranch sauce. Mercio, what do you have to drink? A Sprite and a lemonade. And I have water. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. I gave him my drink, y'all. Mm-hmm. Because I need nothing but water. Nothing but. Good okay. You. Yeah. I gotta put my foot down. Okay, you ready? All right. As we bow our heads and give thanks, amen. A to the man. And happy freaking Friday. What are y'all eating? Y'all eating something good? Ooh. Nice and hot. Oh, that crunch ski. Okay, let me mm. open this up. You know what? I think I want to use this in my hot honey instead. Cause y'all, this combination when I take oh, and let me tell y'all something else. Oh my gosh. The uh ghost pepper wings are gone. They're gone, y'all. I was gonna fall back on the ghost pepper wings, but they're gone. Like, what? <sighs> I swear, nothing went my way today. Nothing. Okay. Yummy, delicious peppers. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Is it hot? Mm hmm. Y'all, I swear by this combo, Tabasco, Chipotle, Chipotle, Tabasco, and this hot honey. It's freaking delicious. Mm. Mm. If y'all not putting y'all chicken in the air fryer, when you get home, you ain't gonna have yeah. this crunch like this. Mm. The air fryer will bring some daggone food to life. Mmm. 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 Y'all, there was literally a police officer that made a video saying that if you go to these, like, like Walmart, um, through the, the self-check, he was like, don't do it. He said it was like, basically, allegedly, y'all, setting you up for a theft charge. I'm like, what? Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. He urges people just to go and get checked out, you know, with a person, an actual person. Thank God they still have them. 
But I was just saying you go for a death job. Man, so many people. <clears throat> <clears throat> we having problems just getting out of Walmart because they ask for your receipt, right? And you know you don't have to show them your receipt because it's not in the policy. Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> and they're basically, you know, they're going through self checkout, and some people are being accused of not scanning certain things, and even though they say yes, I, I scan this. Do? A lot of people do do that. But it's a lot of people that don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't treat everybody like a freaking thief. Everybody ain't a thief. Definitely not. You can lose customers like that. And they're losing customers, like loyal customers that's been going to Walmart for years. So, you must have got accused. Huh? It's a lot of people that get accused. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I, I mean, I just accidentally touched the bottle and this happens. Well, thank God I already did my fit check. Mmm. Mmm. Red beans and rice. So yeah, he's urging people not to do self checkout. Mm. I didn't really think that that was a a terrible idea for Walmart to do. Um. I think that they thought that they were saving money on having to hire like cashiers or whatever. But you're gonna get more lawsuits. You're gonna lose more money doing this, I feel. You when, know what I'm saying? Like falsely accusing people of stealing. People are suing Walmart left and freaking right. Are you kidding me? Somebody just got a nine million dollar um settlement, I heard. Um, because they were accused of stealing and they weren't. And they weren't. Mmm. That bitch was good. Wow. <clears throat> I don't think that, you know. It, but point, if you're not stealing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. People could false accuse you all you want. If you didn't steal nothing, you don't have no stolen items in your possession. Ain't nobody right. doing nothing. Oh, they've been, man, they be doing all kinds of stuff. I'm trying to tell you. Like, <laughs> They be hope after you done, after they done paid for their stuff. If somebody feel like you didn't scan something, they're gonna come and they're gonna grab your basket. They're gonna take hold of in possession of the stuff that you just paid for. Because they think you saw something. What? Yeah. They're calling police all that. I've seen it. I wouldn't <laughs> have no fear. Don't stop me from self checking out. Because them lines be long and them cashiers be slow. Not just physically, but mentally. God bless them. You. What? They be, they be, they be challenged, a lot of them. How you, they be old as hell, or they be, you know what I'm saying? They just be slow. They just operate on slow motion, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, they don't be having pep in their step or nothing, and they, they just be like, just whatever. Maybe because they want you to go to self check. Out. So they don't have to do it. I think it's their mentality. I'm on the clock. I'm only going to work as fast as I'm working, Anna. You know what I'm saying? They ain't in no rush like you in the rush, you know? Mm. They checking people out all day long. They ain't going nowhere. They be extra friendly talking to people. You know what I'm saying? That's all annoying. All that conversation. Uh-uh. Y'all know that's annoying. And the line be all the way to the in the aisles and shit. Oh hell no! This ain't talking small be talk. I'm serious, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, like the last few times I've been to Walmart, I would always get it. I would always come into them people. They slow. They talkative with the people in front of me and all of that. You know. Then you get up there and they want to be dry with you. You damn right, they be dry with mm. me because I'm trying to get up out of here. I'm gonna talk to your ass anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Nice and hot. Mmm. This is just enough food, too. What do you think, Tom? It's not really enough bin. Um, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I forgot a small came with the uh, meal. Mmm. I want y'all to see this ghost that this guy caught on his, um, I think it's a ring door camera, or this might have been just like a house surveillance, I don't know, but I was like, oh my God. And you can tell it wasn't nothing fake that was like edited or anything. Have you seen it yet? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> mm. Look scary or something? I mean, it's a ghost, so. <laughs> it's scary to me. I probably wouldn't even want to live in that dang one neighborhood no more after seeing that. Did you hear about that girl though? Hold on y'all before I tell y'all this. Did you hear about that um girl from Chicago um standing on um King Von's grave? Did you hear about that? Mm-mm. Yeah, some rapper. She's a a, 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 a rapper girl. Uh oh. Why she I'm like, that? why do people do stuff like that? Like that's just it's She's in the deal that. Like it's not even smart. They don't play no games. No, they don't. If I could even find it. I just had it up on the screen. And of course I can't find it now. Pull it, baby. God bless. Of course Why would you not. want to make yourself a target? You know? Really? That's just ridiculous. As like, as for did. some clout. For some clout. And not now you the clout when they come get you. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Allegedly. Because we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, God bless. <clears throat> but that's how it operate. You don't diss the dead. I dare, bro, they don't take that lightly. Yeah. All that dissing the dead, bro, that got to stop. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Where is it? Oh, I got an update on that uh, teacher that got shot. Here you go. Let me see his bird. Waiting on him. Why did why would he take our run? Why did why did Diane chase him? 
What? You see that? Dude. Y'all, this is for you. real. This ain't no. And what was he doing? Stealing? <laughs> yeah, he was stealing. <laughs> y'all, check this out. Hey, man, y'all, check out across the street. Watch this light come on before this nigga come in my yard. Watch this. Y'all try to explain this to me. Look at this light come on, y'all. Now, why did? Why he let this car door open? It was wide open. I do not know. I didn't think people still did dumb that. stuff like that. But he got surveillance. Right there, exactly. And here come Buddy. Look. Look at that across the street. Look. Do y'all see that? I hope y'all can see it. The across the street. Look, look, look. What the fuck is that? Why did? Why would he take our runner? Why did? And then he runs. The, the ghost runs right behind him. I'm thinking, like, I wonder if um, anything happened to him that night. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I wonder After what happened when he caught up with him. Stole whatever he stole. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. When that <clears> thing <throat> caught up with him, what happened? You know? That's what I'm saying. I wonder if that was maybe. Oh. Hmm. That was very weird. Maybe like a person that was with him, but just out of focus. At first, I was thinking the same thing. But I was like, no. Nah. Mm -mm. He was going in and out of, like, yeah, dude. But... The other dude was clear. Yeah, Crystal. Sure. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Are you hot? Like, I'm burning. I may be having a hot flash. Oh. <clears throat> oh, okay. So, update on, um, oh, excuse me. The lady who got, um, You should have had women comments when they go to the video. They probably so had some more info. this is Abby Zwerner's lawyer it. that she hired who gave a statement yesterday saying that four separate times on the day of the shooting, administration was warned that the boy had a weapon and did nothing to stop it. Nothing. It started at 11.15 that morning when Abby herself went to administration and said that she had heard a rumor that the boy had a weapon on him. What? But they knew. Administration did nothing. A little over new. an hour later at 12.30, another teacher went to administration and said that they had searched his book bag and did not find the weapon, but felt confident that the boy had put it in his pocket and then had gone out for recess. The administration, what, what did they do? Did they go check? No. They said, he has pretty little pockets. Like, what a stupid what? thought that this kid could have put the weapon in his pants pocket. So what did the administration do with this information? Nothing. Then at 1 p.m., another teacher comes in saying that one of her students is in tears because at recess, the shooter showed the child the weapon and, and then said, if you tell anyone, I'll shoot you. What did administration do with this information? Bro, nothing. nothing. What? And then to top it off, another teacher went to administration and said, let me search him. Let me check his bag. I'll search his person. You know, let's get to the bottom of this. What did administration do? Nothing. They told him to wait it out because it was almost the wait end of out. the day. They was ready to go home. Less than an hour later, Abby is shot. Now, listen, I know the parents, we still need to deal with them and the gun control. And I, I get it. Police are still investigating that portion so there's not really much for me to say but what we do know now is what we know about administration and i honestly cannot remember a time i felt more disgusted with a group of people unbelievable she gonna shoot the pants off of that she gonna get paid too oh yeah i thought she died thank god she didn't yeah She, she put it, you know. I wonder what they hand gonna up. call it, The bullet went through her hand. That what happened? Yeah, you know, it might have saved her from the bullet doing too much damage. Slowed it down. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
That's crazy. All in people. I wonder what they calling it though. Are they calling it like what kind of charge is that for this little boy? Murder. Like a six year old. Attempted murder. That's a temp. I don't think they gonna put that charge on him. You think they gonna do that? I mean, that's what it is. He sure didn't attempt to scratch her mm -hmm. or kiss her. You know, he shot her with a gun, which is an intent to kill. I wonder opinion. if he knew what he was doing. Yeah, his little ass knew what he was doing. What did he know? Little bad ass. Mm -hmm. Yep, keep him in jail till he's 18. And then. <laughs> they are not going to do that. It's like, seriously? What I'm school is he going that. to? He ain't coming to my school. I'm not teaching him. They might have to homeschool him. He is unsafe for society. That boy there is headed to the room. Mm -hmm. At six. Yes, at six, this boy has smuggled a gun to school and somebody. shot his teacher. Imagine what he's going to do when he's 12. Imagine he when he's eight. When he's 12. Imagine when he's eight. I'm putting that on him. Jeez. Mm -mm. This might have been his seed. humongous big mistake. That's bad seed right there. I think maybe they need to get him out of his environment because that might have had something to do with it. I'm talking about his misery. So I'm just playing. Not bad. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm scared of him. Scared of him. You want? Can you watch little Jimmy? No. Yeah, he can live with me. Little Jimmy's a murderer. Went, I don't know. What if that was your child though? Let's just say that. What, was, what if that was your child? How would you handle it? Yeah, let's put yourself in the parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's me how I handle it. How would you handle it? I'd have to handle the same way they handle it. The boy's in something. They got the boy in, like, in the hospital or something. Did they? Yeah. I'd handle it the same way they handle it. We had the gun in a safe place and it was locked. And somehow little Jimmy figured out how to shimmy that lock. Damn it. You, I bet you it wasn't locked. <laughs> Up at all for real? It was probably was in a dresser drawer, exactly, or some under somebody's pillow. He probably saw where one of his parents hid it. He probably saw it. You know what I'm saying? Saw them hide it. And I was just digging. You know. I mean, usually kids don't be in your room just digging. That's if it was in that room, y'all. I don't know. That is terrifying. Oh, yeah. So you make your child, like, leave the house? Leave the house? Yeah. What, my six-year-old? Mm-hmm. Of course not. You think I'm going to fear my child? I mean, I... no, I said, I fear him. Me, that's not my child. No, I said, if that was your child. That say a lot about, uh, about daddy or, my, or whoever that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or, you know, just society. You can't, maybe you can't really necessarily blame the... The parents, because, you know, look at TV and video games and music. I mean. It's just violence on top of violence on top of the violence. The parents are giving permission for him to watch all of that. You can't even stop it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, like, it's it's you literally, it? it's, these kids, children are bombarded with these images through music. Like, they don't even have a choice. It's just in their face. Mom I mean, like daddy watching talk, TV. Because you know what a saying? lot of parents that kept their kids away from that type of stuff, like, who was it? 19 kids in common. And then as soon as you go to school, then you uh, uh exposed to all of the toxic kids and everything that they learned and what they didn't learn and all that shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's out the door. Yep, school can do it. Yeah, school, school will definitely ruin it. The neighborhood yep. that you live yep. in. Because I kids. learned different stuff inside of my house versus at school and outside in the neighborhood. You gotta watch the company your kids keep because they'll shape them. Word. Uh, watch the company. You do a Even way if better you job think... shaping them than you trying to do. Alright. Mm. Mm -mm. 
I want to know from him why he shot him. <laughs> why you think he shot her? I don't know. That's, I want to know why. I assume he, that she pissed him off in some type of way. I want to know what it was. What did she do to make you want to shoot her? I'm sure they're going to find out, but... Six years old, so that would have been... Six years that's, old. That's kindergarten. That's first grade. Is that... That's, that's first... That is. Because kindergarten is like, what, four and five year olds? That's oh, crazy. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. And... Man, when I was... Just imagine. You remember when you was in the first grade? I'm just imagine. I'm in the first yeah. grade. Imagine taking a gun to school and then shooting my teacher. Bro, I wasn't eating. Come on, dog. I would have never. Like, I loved my elementary school teachers. Like, I loved all of them. And I remember who my first grade teacher was, Mr. Sharp. I remember him. He used to wear really tight pants. He was real thick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he ate a sandwich, he would be overweight. Like, mm. thick like that. Um... I didn't have feelings he of was anger. He so nice. Huh? That, I didn't have feelings of anger, like wanting to inflict harm on somebody. Me neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, I that never was... did. Oh, wait a minute. Middle school. Unless somebody messed with you, of course. You know. My teacher, it, I would always feel like my teacher was messing with me what? in class. Like, oh. always trying to call on me when I didn't want to be called on. <laughs> when you didn't know the answer. And you know that yeah, she, you know that she knew that you ain't know the answer. Huh? Exactly. They always know who don't know the answer. And they try to call and mess with that person. I know what you you're know talking what I'm saying? about. And uh -huh. I did not like it. I knew what he was doing. Or was it a she? I can't remember. I knew what was going on, you know, and it just pissed me off. They would do that when somebody wasn't paying attention. Yeah, exactly. It would be so funny. Because, of course, I wasn't paying attention. I was not. It would be so funny when they would do that to somebody. It would be the dude that's sleeping in the back of something. <laughs> now, I, w I was never asleep. I was just, like, in la-la land, like, doo doo do, you know. <laughs> I might have had my, you know, been sitting like this on the desk, you know. I might have been dozing off, though. <laughs> oh, man, that shit would be funny. I remember getting so freaking sleepy in school, though. Do you remember that? To where you couldn't even help it. You had to go to sleep. After lunch, I would have to take a, yeah, I would, I would go to exactly. sleep. Exactly. In science class, of all mm -hmm. places, I remember that shit. Yeah. That was, ooh. Trying to learn a periodic table. I, I'm just fresh off of lunch. I'm sitting there dozing off. Did you ever learn it? I, I made a cheat sheet the size of my hand. Oh I my hit the God. entire periodic table on the How cheat sheet. How did you sheet. have it on your I, hand? The size of my hand. The piece of paper was no... Oh, it was on a piece of paper. So that I could have my... Yeah. Your teacher could be walking around and I got my hand yeah. on my desk taking my paper. Mm -hmm. And it don't look like I'm hiding nothing because it's a little bitty ass piece of paper. And I just do that. Bye. I was king with that. Yeah, a lot I ain't of never got caught. That. I was always scared to freaking cheat. I, did I ever cheat? I might have looked like that, but I wasn't like one of those that would go and print it out and, and like tape it to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't one of those. You wouldn't make the cheat sheet. No, not at all. Some people, it was some professional cheaters. Some people and studied. So I made I cheat sheets. That. It was called a cheat sheet. I drew really small and write whatever it was. Definitions. Whatever, I'd put it on that piece of paper. <laughs> if I needed more than one or front and back, I, I mean. Because who could remember freaking definitions? Like, uh. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not in school anymore. Jeez Louise. <laughs> you got a test that you did not study for. Like, how many times did that freaking happen? Pop quiz. Remember that? <laughs> I'll be pissed. Pop really? quiz, huh? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Turn this shit in without even doing it, putting anything on putting it. Putting anything on anything it. Just put, put my you name in. Pop that. That's how much I care about you. Pop quiz. Thank you so Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this pie. I don't even need it. Uh, it's good as hell. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. And y'all, y'all know how like, when you meet a stranger, 
when you like meet a stranger somewhere, um, you know, he could be trying to holler at you or she could be trying to holler. Anyway, or they could be trying to, um, um, you know, sell you something, whatever. Do not okay. ever hand anybody your phone so they can put their number in it. Do not ever do that, y'all, because people are taking your phone Going to your cash app. I don't know how people are doing this while you're standing right there. What? And send um, themselves some money. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> or or um, you know, if they, they say, Let me <clears throat> let me um, you know, look up my YouTube channel on your phone or my Instagram on your phone, you know. So, you know, they can follow That's a new scam they doing. Exactly. Wow. Yep. They gonna get right on that app and they're gonna send themselves some money. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, don't trust no strangers. In this egg situation, y'all. Yeah. Seventy nine ninety nine for eggs. What the they were like club size. How in many bulk. Eggs is this? They were like mm. in bulk. I don't know how many, but it's those. And I don't know what store this is. Y'all, $79.99 for those eggs. That is out of freaking control. And, and people are saying that they don't know when, like, this is going to end. Like, the, um, you know, like, the shortage of eggs and, like, the, you know, eggs being so much freaking money. That's 150 eggs. Hmm? It's 150 eggs. For $79.99? Mm. <clears throat> About how much should that be? I mean... 150 eggs. If, a, if, a, if, a, if 12 eggs is going for like $5 right now, mm. then uh, $120 would be 10 cartons. That would be 240 eggs. For 120. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess this is... Um, That's a good price? Let me see. How many is this? 150, so... <clears throat> oh, my God. I don't know. I don't I need some paper. 150. You used to do everything in your head. Yeah, that's... I, you know, just, it's too early. And congratulations to Keith, Keith Lee, y'all. He was on Good Morning America. <clears throat> Freaking yay. It's a win. Okay. Um, so come and find out. Good Morning America is one of the people who contacted him about, like, I guess doing, like, a, a skit slash, like, show. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Going to a business or whatever. Anyway, so they did it. And freaking congratulations. I know that lady is over there like, oh my God. Because she's still getting hate. <clears throat> People keep stitching this lady's video <laughs> and saying, we do not play about Keith Lee. Do not come for him. I mean, they are really getting with her. She turned off all her comments. Hold on. She just didn't know it was going to go like that. She probably thought people was going to turn against him inside with her. Nope. Rest in peace to Randy Gonzalez. Did you ever see Randy Gonzalez and his son? I don't these know who two? that is. I didn't know him by name either. Uh -uh. You never saw these two on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Like, they would be on everybody's For You page. This little boy right here... He would like be um, acting out like these skits with his dad yeah. all the time. Anyway, they were very, very popular on um, TikTok. And he, the dad, <clears throat> um, died, y'all, of colon cancer. Like, it's a lot of men dying of colon cancer. What is going on with that? He was 35. 35 years old, y'all. And I know his son is devastated. Like, they were like, 
You know what I'm saying? They were so freaking close. They would do these videos together all the time. You know, they was traveling together because, you know what I'm saying? They was making money. He just like up and, it, and died one day? He, he didn't know he had cancer? And he he just did know died. he had cancer. And he knew, you know what I'm saying? That he had said um, in a video that he had like two or three years left. And it, it, didn't, it didn't even last that long. So... Yes, yeah, so freaking sad. So sad. So rest in peace to him. Um, my delivery. Oh, it's about time, freaking Walmart. Yeah, y'all. Do y'all remember it? Remember them? Like they were everywhere. They were going viral on Facebook everywhere. But anyway, I hope the kid's gonna be all right because he had more than just uh, his son. I think he had a little girl. Um. I don't know if he had any other kids, but. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. That's way too young to be dying of cancer. Okay. Yeah, 35. Is this dad gonna be food? That's what it is. It's the food. Yeah. Like, well, he watched the video. Yeah. If y'all wanna know why all these young people dying of cancer, they got a video on YouTube for the doctor made. Why are so many young people dying of colon cancer? Oh, you watched it? Yeah. What did it, what was it about? What did he say? Um, the wheats, like, like rice and bread and all mm. that. Um, I forgot, oh, I forgot all this stuff. It was like certain oil, oils, like these oils, these cooking oils. Mm -mm -mm. Um, it's like we're doomed or something. Here like. We are. Ridiculous. These evil people that run the world, it, it's it, it's a system. They like it starts at birth when they snatch you from your mother, and they and they put you on this big loop, and they you know what I'm saying, and then they got something for you. They profiting off of every stage of your life, from birth to death, the treatment yep. of illness, burying you, all of that. They, man, it's crazy, man. Everything is a money grab. Every single. It's like we're like cows to them, and we don't realize it though. <clears throat> you know, we don't because we, we don't see the we don't see the fence. They have us in captivity. <clears throat> we don't see the chains that bind us. Wicked world. Jason Lee, y'all. Jason Lee. He has a show on Revolt, and he had um, Krishan and Blueface on the show, y'all. It was a freaking mess, okay? I had never, like, I don't think I've ever known anybody so obsessed with somebody. Like, okay, so he, um, Jason Lee wanted to present <laughs> Blueface with the Mandingo Award, right? I, I don't know what that was about, and I, I, I'm not sure why he even came up with that. But he wanted to present it to him, and um, Krishan kept grabbing it. Like, she didn't want him to, like, accept his award. Like, it was so freaking weird. You talking about when she was on his back? Yeah, exactly. When she was, and when he was trying to thank people, I, I don't know if it was just a big joke. I don't know. But, um, yeah, while they was interviewed, like, she literally got up on the couch and got on his back. Like, just weird. Very, very strange, girl. And you know she was drunk. This award. Ooh, can I this award. I'm going to give it to you. You're going to go get it. This award is given. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, this is the first time. This is, this is the first time. This is the first time that we've given the Mandingo Hall of Fame award to somebody in person. Oh, can I give it to him? I'm going to give it to him. You can give it to him. It's your it's your yeah. it's your you gotta present it to him. You gotta do a speech on him. Oh my god. Anyway, so there's that. If y'all wanna go and, <clears throat> and watch it, it's on YouTube. But yeah, I don't think they need to do interviews together no more. Because she's just not I don't I don't think that she's like equipped or trained enough to do Interviews like that. I mean, don't you think so? But like, that, she is out they, of control. But that is what makes... That's why people are talking about her. 
That is like. Like it's mm. she's an entertainer. That's annoying. They being in they being entertainers. They doing a good job of it. They got, I mean, they got everybody have... watching and talking. Oh, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she out there. You know, he was talking and she got up and she like turned her back and she was like showing that look. Like, Y'all, this she outfit she had. I'm sorry to be talking about her outfit, but <clears throat> whoever her she maybe she doesn't have a stylist. Maybe that's what it is because this outfit. I just, I don't know, I don't understand these outfits nowadays where, you know, you have the, like the low rise pants and. Let me, I'll do that and explain it. It's like, you ever seen somebody with the low rise pants and then they got some drawers on, some like. Some uh, G strings. Some G strings and the G string is showing. She had on some pants with like built in G strings. That they were was, designed they like They were denim that. like the pants. It was just. You know, with the little broad, it's just a lot of nakedness in fashion today. You know, people. You know, but and she had on a bra. She was just with all that jacket. weird acting. I just we was, show, we were sitting there watching it, wasn't? We? Yeah, we were talking were about it on live. Everybody was talking about it. You know how much? Money oh, you they, talked about it? No, other people be talking yeah. about it, but like, you know how much money they probably make for an interview to sit there and get drunk and act silly. I mean, do they get paid for interviews? I sure I wouldn't be doing no damn interview for free. You think they pulling up doing interviews, making people all this money for for making money off the interview and they ain't getting nothing? Mm. I wouldn't be. Anyway, so I do believe that is it. What is this? Get the plastic storage containers out of the kitchen. Give them to your husband to store nails in the garage. <laughs> because when you put food in a plastic container, the next day the food is ha has phthalates in it. What is phthalates? So the chemicals that mold plastic. Yeah. And those chemicals leach out of the containers into the food. There is no study that says the amount of phthalates that are leaching into the food is toxic to humans. And I agree. However... When you cannot detoxify and get rid of the toxic chemicals you're exposed to, they accumulate in your body. And phthalates are a family of chemicals called endocrine disrupting chemicals, means they alter your hormones. What? And where they accumulate are in the estrogen and testosterone loving cells. But we've been knowing not to use plastic. So many people keep saying, don't freaking use plastic. Somebody that owned a plastic making like business, he doesn't even allow plastics in his home, period. Remember we talked about that a while ago. I don't remember. So, <clears throat> yeah, y'all, use plastic at your own risk. But yeah. um, we still have freaking plastic all in our stuff. We don't use it. I drink out of what glasses. What do you mean? We, we do use it. Like, we use it to cook with. We plastic? like to stir stuff up in it. Yeah. I don't use plastic, nothing. You don't use nothing plastic. No, I don't drink plastic. No. Well, but then why do we still have it then? We need to get all glass. I'm a glass if boy. I'm that's why using I say. It, it's affecting That's why you I save jars. So I, because I like drinking out of glass. If I'm using it, it's affecting you too. I'm cooking with it. You don't I'm cook with plastic? What are you cooking with that's plastic? We cooking pots. That's metal, stainless steel, cast iron. I use plastic bowls to put stuff in to stir things. Oh, to yeah, stop like, doing it. <clears throat> show them heating that up in the microwave in plastic. Your show gonna leach off. Anyway, mm. so throw away all your little Tupperware. Mm. The Tupperware, the Tupperware that I bought is um, glass. Yeah, of course not the glass one. It's not called Tupperware, is it? Tupperware is plastic. Is it? Yeah. Won't you shut up? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> I think Tupperware is just a brand. It's not, it doesn't mean and plastic. They, and they don't make glass, they make plastic. I bet you they make glass now. I bet you anything. I bet you're wrong. Uh. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all are following me on Instagram, um, TikTok, and Yummy Reacts, okay? Everything is linked in 
my description box. And yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments if y'all have tried the shrimp roll at Popeye's yet, like wherever you are. Come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.